When I went to this music event in 2018, I had absolutely no clue that this day was gonna lead to the biggest break in my music career. And it's all thanks to Russ, Illmind, and Jimmy Kimmel. Producers, if you're looking for some new sounds to add to your production, I got you. The actual piano presets that we used on Russ's Patience can be found inside of our plugin Octave. Not only that, this plugin is Boy Wonder's favorite VST to quickly come up with new ideas. Some of my favorite virtual instruments is I find myself really running back to Octave a lot and uh, another one called Scorch. I think they're both made by uh, my best friend Jacob who makes really dope VSTs. I left a discount code for Octave Deluxe in the comment section below. In 2019, I went to Pass the Ox, which was a music event hosted by Illmind. They just have that like best friend aura. This was the first time I ever went to a musical networking event. And to this day, I think that this is one of the greatest hacks that any producer or artist can do to get that first big break in their career. And here's why. During the intermission, I was able to chat with Illmind and tell him I was potentially scoring a film. The reason I say potentially here is that because sometimes mentioning something that you're going to do in the future, even if you haven't done it yet, can quickly show the other person how capable you are and allow you to stand out from the crowd. So me and Illmind exchange contact info and I get my first major contact as a music producer. Boom! Now this is the part that a lot of producers don't mention when they tell these type of stories. Just because you got someone's contact, do not think that this is going to be your big break. To be 100% transparent with you, I kept in contact with Illmind for almost two years before we ever even made a beat together. The main point here is don't get caught up in that. You need to keep grinding and showing your work ethic so that the bigger producers that you connect with can see that you're still hustling and that's gonna be the thing that actually opens those doors and allows you to collaborate with them. So for myself, what I kept doing is finding new up and coming producers and artists in the city that I could connect with. And thankfully, one of the people that I connected with was Chris. We were able to bond over music, build a friendship. He came over to my place and this is one of the first samples that we ever made together. And here's the original voice note from that day. I knew that this one was special, so I sent it over to my longtime friend, Nicole Ariana, and got her to redo the vocals. Yeah, this could take some time. My heart is under maintenance. And after some tweaking, we ended up with this. All right, so I want to rewind it back right now. Remember how I mentioned to Illmind that I was going to score a film? Well, that would-be score actually ended up being Travis Scott's Look Mom, I Can Fly for Netflix. And thanks to the success of the film, I was able to reach out to Illmind and ask him if he would be interested in interviewing me on his podcast, Blap Chat. We have an amazing guest today. His name's Jacob. Jacob. I had the pleasure of meeting at my Pass the Ox event in Toronto. Again, when I met Illmind, I had no clue that this was gonna become a Netflix film, let alone even a film at all. It was just a seed of an idea. But what I did at the time was leverage the skills that I had, which was film and video and scoring, and I opened up that door with Illmind so that at some point in the future, I'd have an opportunity to reconnect and hopefully collaborate on music. And that's when during the podcast, my dreams basically came true. I was about to say, I'm sensing a drum kick coming out of Jacob, yeah. <laughs> or sample uh, kit, or something, loop yeah, kit, no, or loops something. And samples. <laughs> I got something in the works. Something in oh. the works for sure. Jacob, Fantastic. you need to send need them to all to me. Shit over here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to flip some. Send shit. them all to me. Let's go. Send, Let's send go. one to perfection, and then the rest to <laughs> <of> me. <it. laughs> and that first batch of loops that I sent him was the sample that I created with Chris and Nicole. Ilman flipped that sample, and a few weeks later, he let me know that Russ had hopped on it and made a song called Patience. And in 2020, after so many years of struggle all of the up and downs, it finally happened. I got my first major placement. Not only that, I got my first major placement, but I also got it with my close friends, Chris and Nicole, which is super special to me, and obviously Illmind, he's been a big idol of mine. And the fact that I got to do this with him was like the cherry on top. It was the number one Billboard album, and it was even performed on Jimmy Kimmel. Here with the song, Patience, Russ. <laughs> Actually, the synth presets that we used inside of Patients can be found in our plugin called Octave Deluxe. And another funny coincidence here, Russia's string player Aaron Paris actually created string presets inside of Octave Deluxe. I love them, I use them all the time. And if you feel like checking out Octave Deluxe, I left a discount for you in the comment section below. It's kind of ironic that the song is called Patience because looking back at this story, from the time of meeting Illmind to when this record came out, it was almost two years in the making. And this is something that I find so consistent with producers of all levels, is that you need patience to win in this game. To be a producer, you need to be okay with the unknown. If I never would've went to that networking event, to be honest with you, 
I don't know where I'd be today. So I'm so happy that I went and big thanks to Illmind for A, hosting it, allowing producers like me to have a little bit of shine, and then on top of that, just for believing in me. Hopefully this video inspired you today, and if you need even more inspiration, then you need to check out this video, How I Made It on Metro Boomin's album, producing a song for 21 Savage and Travis Scott. My name is Jacob, I'm here for Software Audio, and I'll see you again soon.